You missed it, dude. You're having pizza by the pool in your watermelon raft with a drink. All right, so if you do Club Mo Bay. Mac and cheese actually was so, so good. What is up, everybody? It is Carson. My wife's name is Sammy. We are the complete couple. Good morning. It is day number five. Unfortunate leaving day here in Sandals, Jamaica. We are going to head down to the buffet, southern table, to show you guys that so you guys can see a breakfast. Uh, we have this room till 1.30, and then we got to get out of here, too. So then we're going to hit the swimming pool a little bit, maybe mess around some. Then we're going to show you guys Club Mo Bay's exit so you guys understand how that works. And uh, just packing up and enjoying the rest of the day. So we'll see you guys at breakfast. Southern table. Here we go. So it's a breakfast buffet until 10.30. There we go. Thanks, Ben. So it's our last day. Yeah, it's pretty sad. But look at this view. It's kind of a nice breakfast view. Now right, we're going to wait for drinks and then go get food. So here's the buffet. We'll show you guys. You got fruit. Oh, that's cool. That's sore sauce. Wow. She got all these. They, they cover everything. It really makes it difficult. But she got pineapple. That is an orange. She got fruits. And pastries. I think that's your yogurts. And your cheese section. These are different lychees and mangoes. Things like that. I think that's chicken. Hard boiled eggs. Oatmeal and cornmeal. And juices. No grits. All right, we'll try to make a quick scrambled eggs, baked beans, potato, plantains. Not sure about those. Steamed veggies. Not sure. Oh, this looks like exactly what yeah, I got at Komodo's that's last exactly time. That's exactly what I got at Komodo's last time. Pineapple glazed yeah. ham. Okay. French toast and a chocolate pancake. Okay. Red velvet pancake and a plain pancake. Those kind of look pretty. Syrups. Wow. Toppings. Really wow. dark. Crispy bacon, which they desperately need to refill. More hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. And then sausage. And then you have an omelet. And that's it. There we go. Full southern table. I think yours is on that side. She's doing it right now. I want to get her flipping it. She's kicking butt. So here's our plate honey ham, pancake. You saw her make that. And the bacon. See, I got more of an English breakfast. Mm hmm. I will tell you the one thing that's weird is the bacon has literally no flavor. I get like I've like never it's really had weird it in my life like that. I don't know if it's like a different cut or something. Like it actually like it. tastes like nothing. It tastes like you're eating nothing. Yeah, it's actually like it's weird when you first bite into it. No, we got you two mimosas. Like I feel like we have COVID again because like yeah, I don't taste know. anything. If any of you guys had COVID and you know when you could taste, that's what it tastes really like good. eating the bacon. Like you literally taste nothing. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Bacon, like on bacon, and this bacon. And they all taste the exact same. No. My BLT bacons are better. There you go. Or I'm just drunk. Maybe it's probably because you're drunk at night. Probably. Yep. So we're going to dig in. We'll see you guys at the pool. Playing shuffleboard. Dang it. This is harder than it looks. It's nice <laughs> shuffleboard, but they're huge. You haven't made one yet. There we go. That's an eight. I still didn't make it. You missed it, dude. I know. Again. I know. <laughs> Best pizzas in the business right here. That's my cow zone right there. Is this not the best pizza ever? It's really good. It's my favorite. It is. And these ladies are the best. It's no fresher than that. Look at that cow zone right there. Oh my goodness. All right, so update. We did make it back to the room. Just kind of hanging out. These, it's really nice. Both of these French doors open, so you can open these literally like all the way and eat. You know, if you want to hang out. But look, I had her make me a custom calzone. I've not had a calzone in a long time, but boy, does that look beautiful. So we're gonna try that. And there's her pizza. Very pretty. Wanna try it? See if it's good as first day. 
Dude, it's good as first day. Is this good? Mm -hmm. It's good. Really good. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm telling you, the pizza. You called it home? I did. The pizza has been a winner. Pizza's great. And they're so nice. They so are. It's the same girl every time she's so sweet. Same girl every time she uh -huh. lost my film there. Mm -hmm. So here's his customized calzone. How is it? It's really good. Is it really good? I haven't had a calzone in a long, long time. I don't think I've ever had a calzone in my life. It's really good. She's there you awesome. go. That pizza lady is awesome. So there you go. Skip breakfast, go to pizza. I agree. All right, so if you want to know the real way to enjoy your Romeo and Juliet suite, you're having pizza by the pool in your watermelon raft with a drink and the waterfall behind you. Look at that. Sammy's living life on the last day. After this, we got to go sit on the Frontier plane. We got to go sit in Club Mo Bay, which will let you know how that is, for three hours. The lowdown on Club Mo Bay. The way it works is our flight's actually at 7 o'clock, but it's whether or not you buy Club Mo Bay, that's like a lounge area. But no matter what, you got to be at the airport three hours early, and it's a two hour drive, so five hours of time. So our flight's at 7. We got to leave here at 2, be on the bus at 2, which means we have to leave our room at 1.30. We get there, we get down to the lobby at 2, we drive the two hours to the airport, get there at roughly 4, and then uh, I think we got to go through customs, I'm guessing. I don't know if we can do customs on this side or that side. And then uh, we got to fly, uh, then we wait three hours to get uh, on our flight for a two-hour flight to home. So uh, we'll take you guys through the process. Oh Alright guys, so unfortunately it is that dreaded day, pack up and moving out day and leaving day. And I did want to talk to you about one thing. We don't ever show anything, but this was something I purchased probably about a for year Alaska, ago. For yeah. Alaska, yeah. And if there's one thing out of everything that I recommend you purchase for your next trip, is one of these scales. So you're not messing around at the airport. So just to give you an idea, it weighs out at zero. You hook it around this. Then you just, it's going to be like at zero pounds. When you pick it up, 40.7. It's pretty accurate when it comes down to it. I mean, let's see if... 40.7 dead on again. There you go. So we're going to take one thing out of here and put it in there. But that way when you're not, that way when you get to the airport, you're not fumbling around with your luggage and wasting time. You know exactly what they weigh. It's super easy. It's lightweight and you're not messing around with the airport. So check in the description box below if you want one of these. They're on our Amazon storefront. I think they're pretty cheap. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. I don't know. They're pretty cheap. Best thing you could purchase. So that's my recommendation. We'll see you guys on the bus. Here we go. Heading home. I'm going to take a nap. Two hours. Empty bus this one, though. Totally Only different bus. Us two and one other. That's it. And a little bit newer. Nice. See the airport. Departures. We're definitely international. So we got to find the international side. Check bags. Up to 40 pounds. There's no self-service hub, so you have to wait in this aggressively long line. Sorry, my eyes wander. If you fly Frontier, by the way, it's all the way on the left-hand side. Just ask someone in a yellow shirt. The staff, they do help you. I think it's the longest line in the whole airport. All right, so it took us 30 minutes to get through the Frontier line. It did. It actually took 30 minutes. Once you get there, though, just so you know, you come down to the international check-in, and there is a Club Mobe priority line that you check into. And hopefully we get right on they to. Have it, because they we have, have to it. do this at the airport the first day we. There leave. we go. So literally, well, there is no line anyways, there is. as you can see. But this is what it would have been. All right. So right as you go through security, you get dumped into basically all the duty-free shopping, which they have like perfume, snacks, a ton of alcohol, um, all that good stuff. Luckily, there was no line, but you actually did get your own lane for checking through security, like your actual own lane. So I could see that being really beneficial. If it was busy, it's not busy for us right now, but we are traveling on a Tuesday at like 3 p.m. Sorry, Thursday at 3 p.m. So now we're gonna go see if we can check into our lounge and go from there. So then we may come back out here, we'll see, but this is like the middle area where you got like Quiznos, Domino's, a bar, and then a ton more shopping in here, like a lot. So you've got like a tag store, you have a diamond store, you got island stuff, lots and lots and lots of shopping. All right, so if you do Club Mo Bay, this is your entrance right here. I'm gonna head down these stairs and take you into the entrance. All right, we made it to Club Mo Bay. No. 
Thank you. Okay, so in case you're like me and you're wondering what food they have, so basically they have a little pasta salad making station. They're out of pasta. I'm gonna tell them, see if they can get more, because that actually was kind of good. Um, salami, ham, lettuce, again, all the condiments, like make your own little like pasta salad type thing. It's definitely a little scary, but it's only paid $30 to be in here and you get unlimited alcohol, so. And you got to cut the line, so. And you think you have some like pre-made salads, ham and cheese sandwiches, uh, fruit cocktails, only one left, so. This was the jerk chicken wrap, it was good. It wasn't grand. They got jalapeno sandwiches, they have an Italian pasta and a tuna pasta. And then they have tuna sandwiches and then these little pastries. And this is the hot, they got potato wedges, empanadas, not sure, chicken. Uh, chicken fingers, pasta salad that's hot, and then beef empanadas. And then they have, oh, I didn't even see this. They have soup. No, they don't. Just kidding. There's no soup in that one. There's soup in this one. And it's pumpkin soup. And then they have silverware, which is all plastic. And then they have bread. So there you go. All right, so Carson got a chicken tender. Which is good, actually. It needs some ketchup. Okay. The warm... Pasta was this good, was actually. This was my least favorite. This right here? It actually wasn't bad. It's actually, this is like actually felt like something I would get at an Italian yeah. restaurant. I'm waiting on new noodles to make my own pasta salad, this cold pasta jerk. salad. This is a jerk chicken. It's definitely not jerky at all, but it's actually pretty soft. And I'll be honest with you, could be worse. It's kind of on par with the food I've had all week. The food definitely, it's not good, but this the departure was only 33 per person and you literally get an open bar and they're all so nice. So for that, and you get to skip the uh, yeah, the security the line, line is work. really nice. So for 33 bucks, I mean, you get two drinks and you get to skip a line, it's not bad. And then you do get food. So if you're not a picky eater, it and it wasn't bad. Could be worse. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. So you are allowed to leave. I really wanted to know that. You are allowed to leave. You get a wristband, you can come and go as you want. So that's how you exit, uh, that's how you go downstairs to the bottom area. I did not realize this. They have a hole upstairs too. This is way better. Cool view, so you can see the ocean up here. Cause we walked in and she just said to go downstairs, so I just went downstairs. Look, they got a whole food there. section over there, the same food I'm guessing. Same food, yeah. Empty bar. I like the view. This is really nice. So it's actually huge. We're gonna come back and sit up here. We're gonna go walk around a little bit. You can drink, but has me in good cup. Yep, has me in a good cup, but you can drink. And here's the band. And you get a band to leave and yeah, come back. this is beautiful. Man. This is pretty. Oh, we were in the dungeon. Okay, so we're back at Club Bay. We got a Quiznos sub to split it. And come upstairs. I mean, oh my God, there's no one here. The server has already been so fantastic up here. And these views are beautiful. I mean, the sunset. They still have food up here. Um, definitely come upstairs. So she told us to go down, but I would definitely stay up. So we wanted to see if the food looked, oh my god, you guys, the food looks so much better over here. Look, there's actually mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, there's so many noodles and fresh lettuce. Oh my gosh, you guys, come upstairs. This is so much better. So much better, low key. Oh my god, you got all this little snacks and stuff. Oh my god, they're loaded. Look how many sandwiches they have up here. You guys, come upstairs. Let me tell you, that's all I can put in. Look, they actually have their fruit cups, and then they're loaded to the nines. So upstairs, where it's Just an update, we bailed on the Quizno sandwich. She's, she's in here resting. The mac and cheese up here is so good. And they had so many ingredients for my little bowl. So literally night and day up here, you guys. So, so much better, love it. Mac and cheese actually was so, so good. Alright guys, so I'm giving you our final update. We are uh, about 
10 minutes from home here found our car it was a nightmare because we got uh had to go through customs which is a different terminal and then get all the way back to terminal c which was the new terminal but we figured it out got to our car um just you know some highs some real highs and some real lows of the trip i mean the entertainment staff the ma the high manager staff uh, they were the all fantastic room. the uh the new room I mean, a super high, that was fantastic. Some lows, I think the servers could all improve. Maybe it's because they don't work on tips. You know, it's in America, you you, you know, your servers wanna really strive hard because they know they're working on that tip. Well, in Sandals, they hold no tipping thing. I think that none of the servers really care. I mean, I probably had some of the worst service, honestly, I've had in a long time. So, probably some of the worst food service I've had and probably some of the worst food in general that I've had in a long time. And I know that's sad, but it's just kind of the truth. We eat a lot of places. And I didn't find it that uh, that appealing. But I'm going in and out of focus here. Remember, hit, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Sammy, Carson, the complete couple, enjoy it. I hope you guys have enjoyed these uh, videos. I, we, we really appreciate you guys watching them. We put a lot of time and effort into them. We are heading to Lake Tahoe in uh, about three weeks. three weeks so that'll be the next one you guys will see we're into lake tahoe we're going to show you some good food some fun experiences so that's the next one get excited for that see you guys soon